dream has come true for me. We are all sitting here at the end of um, the most wonderful nine days because we still have tomorrow to travel home. But we got to do a family trip to Italy and it was a dream come true, not only to have everybody here, but to celebrate Easter. Let's talk about our week. Start us off there, actually. Oh, uh, well, I, I think it's safe to say day one was kind of a uh, chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was, it was supposed to be super structured and planned, and then that plan got punted out the window. Um, that's true. Yeah, well, the one that didn't arrive. And the didn't one that didn't arrive. Bags and. Mm -hmm. Day one was driving the Ferrari. Yeah, that's, I think, where they actually make some. And, uh, what, 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 speak about the Ferrari. Oh. Okay. That was amazing. That was amazing. I drove the McLaren 720S. How pumped are you? So pumped. I could not imagine how that was going to go. I thought for sure it's just going to be like, oh yeah, you're driving the supercar. No, we drove the supercar way past my limit. stop a lot quicker than he did. All oh, speed limits that apply to a mouse. <laughs> Holy cow, that was amazing. All right, so we just got to drive the Ferrari 296 GTV. Not this one. This one. The St. Francis, we the, looked it up. Yeah, yeah the it's the St. Francis. <laughs> and it was just a real humble place, and we got to walk through the woods, and Sweet Vivi even went up to the front and said, thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And then, Benjamin, would you tell them what special thing you did? We just kind of read the, uh, you know, kind of the Easter story. Uh, we read it from Matthew, then we kind of all went around and talked about what God had been doing in our lives and teaching us this past year and it was just kind of a little special 
a little time just to hear kind of what all's happening in everybody's life. So that that really just made my day that I have been blessed with kids that get along and we can come together and God is the center of each one of my kids' life and my life and that's how you can keep on keeping on in this crazy thing called life. So it just really made my day. Yeah. Yeah, I think Assisi was my favorite town to walk around. Mm -hmm. It was, it, it just was so clean, so beautiful. And then we had Vivian Fairhouse, she loves, she'll find the music anywhere we go. And oh, there, that was, that, was the day. that was the day. Oh, that was a good there day. There was a uh, street musician, and man, she stood in front of him. She probably would still be sitting in front of him <laughs> had we not moved her along. <laughs> So that was that was really cool to get to experience. She was locked in. She really liked him, and he had a cool voice too. Yeah, was easy cool. to listen to. Mm -hmm. She was she was judging him there for a little bit. Just yeah, she had arms crossed, cross. <laughs> and then she's like, <laughs> she's like, it's worth some bounce. Yeah. No. <laughs> and it said, um, Vivi, you're good, and it says, I pray for you. I mm -hmm. mean, it was a real real sweet yeah. song. It was, yeah. and we also saw some street artists who was doing sidewalk chalk art. That was really cool too. That was. That was mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone. Keeping mm -hmm. Viv's feet off that was difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, day three. That yeah. was the day that we had to take the van back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so we don't like talk about that. <laughs> oh, I loved it. it. We had a good time before we took it back. Mm -hmm. I like Mom that. hopping through the field. <laughs> <laughs> It was when I'll, you were going to look for that muddy path. I'll show you. It's a, it's a yeah. real ah, oh, 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 video. Oh, was just running, right? Running. Yeah. She was, she was frolicking through the hills. Yeah. But <laughs> <Four. laughs> yeah. we she got back in. Yeah. We just went she got more. back in the, the car in her shoes. She was like, oh, they are so soaked. <laughs> so soaked. That's right. Then we took the car back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we couldn't get gas on two different stations. Our cars. And we returned work. it with a massive scratch on it, which thankfully I had a picture. And but. then um, I left my wallet. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I retrieved it today. Nine <laughs> 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 days later, it was still under the under the seat. Thank goodness, with all my money in it. So that was the oh. day. And then we all crashed. We came home and just kind of crashed before we took a, a walk around town. All right, Venice. Venice. This was Emily. Well, Tuesday was Venice, and we had to ride a train to get there. Um, and we got there and had to basically sprint to get on the boat. <laughs> that is true. We completed a 5K. Yes, yeah, it is official. It was, it was exactly 5K. It was exa yeah. 2.2 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Each way. Each way. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a I felt it though. <laughs> um, but then we visited three little islands in Venice, um, so we got to like ride the boat to each island. Um, and the first island was Torino. Uh, that was, was a glass blowing. Oh yeah, the glass oh, blowing. So wow. we got to see a demonstration of a guy like doing a glass blowing show, and he made a vase, and then he made a horse sculpture, which was really cool and I cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then we got to go and. Uh, Go to like I guess the gift shop if you want to call it that, where they just have free. all yeah. of these different little you know objects made of glass. And they're absolutely stunning chandeliers like I had never <laughs> seen, oh, yeah. and like the whole time you're just like I hope I don't break anything. Uh -huh. it was I don't want to breathe too heavy. Approved place. <laughs> Correct. Oh, it wouldn't have been approved place honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that was Moreno. So next mm -hmm. was Burano. Mm -hmm. And Burano was beautiful. Yeah, Burano was beautiful. All the colored houses, like the rainbow colored yeah. mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. We all took so many pictures there. Yeah. So many oh. pictures. Yeah. Ashley and I got lost. I was like, let's go to the part no one sees. And then my map stopped working. And then we. <laughs> yeah, we got lost. Yeah, we, we, still, we, we had to hustle to get back, but that's our story. Where's y'all? They also um, made lace at that one. Mm -hmm. and, and I got some pretty lace to sew, so that was really, really neat. I think that one was our favorite because we didn't have to rush. No. Yeah. We were just, we were just yeah. strolling, yeah. taking photos. Oh, well, I got great. some good gluten-free pizza on that island. Oh, you sure all got food on the first island. Yeah, right. yeah we ran here with the pizza, and then we went and saw the Bimini mm -hmm. thing, yeah. And then the last island was the... Super chill. 
No, it's like the architect, or no, archaeology, historical. Like oh, birthplace of Catholicism. Yeah, that's right. Italy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. But that was, that was cool. A lot of significance, not much there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I told Joseph about the boat ship, and we thought it was um, over at three, and we would have about three hours before we caught the train, but it was over at five, so. We just so We happened. sprinted back to the train. <laughs> <laughs> like, the other half of the five, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just so happened to leave ourselves an hour to get back. Booking the trains, we were like, ah, oh, you know, dart on the dartboard. <laughs> what, was it seven? Was it six or seven? Six. 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 And we got off the boat at five. 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 Yeah. This we is not a straightforward city. And, we, and, and, and the, the boat was on the opposite side of Venice from the train <laughs> station. Let's clarify that real yeah. quick. I'll have well, to do like a little like... dot on the map. Uh huh. Well, and and like, all the stairs. Show no... all the stairs. <laughs> yeah. There's no like big, it's like mostly like really little, little pathways. Yes. And there's like people go to people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beautiful. Hey, we navigated that well. <laughs> and we, yeah. I mean, we, the, the last leg of the 5K, you were the unsung he hero carrying Vivian and the heavy backpack. Oh, it was yeah. like 50 pounds. And, and Benjamin took over the leadership role. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could no longer handle the responsibility of knowing where we're going. It was so straightforward. Yeah. But that train ride back was great. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. all drew a dragon for Vivian. Oh yeah, yep. we played with a lot of stickers. Mm -hmm. And I finally discovered all of her words that she mm -hmm. And we discovered <laughs> that mom's a bit of an artist. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, have dragon. Dragon. I have the dragon right there. A picture of it. No, let's do so, that because I don't have a picture of that. Yeah. I oh, let's that. show the artwork there. This is her dragon. That yeah. it's going to have to. That was my newest talent. I can draw. Wednesday? Wednesday was the oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Our only on Wednesday, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's why you took one for the team. I stayed interview. with Vivi for four hours. I never knew that one of the uh, luggage racks could be used to entertain someone for over an hour. Almost probably an hour and a half. She would put it on <laughs> for me and I'll rescue you. And she'd get me out from under it and give me a big hug. Love you. <laughs> and we did that for hours while they went to eat busy. Favorite artwork in there? You no, know, yours. I don't even think I know mine. What was mine? Oh, I thought you, you <laughs> ran into it. Well, you oh, just sprinted yeah. up the stairs. No, I did. You did. It was the... Oh, up those stairs. It was yeah. Like, yeah. We, we, we were on the Us three were dead. We were we dying. We a break. We yeah. were like... The stairs is, were a lot. This was a I was like, I was like I'll push through it, then I'll be over sooner. Mm -hmm. And so we get to the top of the stairs, and I was like... I was like... It was, it, it was, was bad. Serious. I was running on a train too. I really oh, like really? the fit too because I really love the floors. Like I love like the checkered marble floors. Mm -hmm. I really love that. I feel like they did a good job of like, the, like making the building ex accentuate the art where mm -hmm. it was like, it just felt very complimentary. I love that they have like rooms <laughs> full of like, uh, just, you just couldn't even go in there. It was just like very ornate with like a lot of like statues and paintings and you could, I, I really love that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, there's this one painting that I love. It's by Artemisia and it's the Judith and Holofernes painting that they have there. Cause there's a lot of Judith and Holofernes's, but it's, it's, uh, painted by this woman who, was the daughter of a painter and he wanted her to go to school and learn how to paint but women were not allowed in schools and so she he was he hired a teacher to like teach her how to paint and he assaulted her and she ended up going to court about it and she somehow won like which was very uncommon she won the court case and they like tortured her to make sure that she was telling the truth and after she won her court case, she painted this painting and she put her face on the hand servant at the top and she put her Salter's face on Holofernes and you can just see her like rage as she is taking her power back from him and it's just so moving. She ended up being, she got to have a painting in the Uffizi and she got to be the first woman at like the art school in Florence. What was your favorite painting? <clears throat> Um, I loved a lot of the paintings of like uh, the Magi bringing gifts to Jesus. I mean, there's like two of them that really stood out. I don't know who, who painted it, but they were really cool um, yeah. and pretty moving. Yeah, because a lot of it was based around Christianity mm -hmm. or like a lot of the Old and New Testament stuff. I was like, I, I, I was kind of surprised by myself. I really, really enjoyed all of the sculptures. 
um, a lot more than I thought I would have, but it was fun to like, I was a political science major, so like I read a lot of philosophical works, and so like I would recognize certain phases, um, oh, so that was fun walking around and seeing that, and then just kind of in awe at how incredible the artwork was. I too really enjoyed the building and how it really did, it was built to accentuate the art. They just needed a, a few more elevators. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in elevators. <laughs> I had one favorite that like kind of stood above the rest because I like detailed art. I found that out about it because I guess that's what I like to paint. To, that's what I like to see. And there's one painting that I don't know if it, who painted it. I don't really know why they painted it or, or what it's really of. But it was a room and it had, I think I counted 21 paintings inside of the painting in addition to like crazy detail. So I took a video to like show all the paintings in the painting. But like there's paintings that are like one inch by one inch that had the same amount of detail as the one next to it that was two feet by two feet. It was crazy. But one that stuck with me was uh, uh, there was like a self portrait that we saw. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of, that it was, one. You saw like every side of the guy's face because oh, you saw the yeah. back of his head looking at a mirror <clears throat> that he was then painting on his right, and the painting that he was painting was then looking at you. Mm -hmm. So that one was and his great. eyes were even mm -hmm. different. Yeah. 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 It was such an interesting interpretation because all the other ones are just like self portraits. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was just a hallway of self portraits. And then you have this one that was like, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did we do something else? Yeah, yeah we supposed did. It was supposed to be a soccer game. game. Then we came back yeah, here. Yeah, we kind of like drifted to yeah. soccer. Here's, so how, here's how not to purchase a soccer ticket. <laughs> 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 You do a ton of research before, and you learn that if you buy your tickets ahead of time, they're a lot cheaper. You then forget to buy them ahead of time, and then you try to purchase them the day of. The people at the office say you have to come back at noon. So you come back at noon, and then, then they say you need the passports of everyone you're purchasing tickets for. And then you come back, and you bring everyone back to the office. It's now 12.30. And in your research, you saw that the game starts at two. Uh, it's at two three. central time. It's three. three. It's th it's it's twelve thirty. It's a forty-five minute walk. You got every purchase. bit of a forty-five minute <laughs> walk. Forty-five minute walk. You're like, why would they only open up the ticketing booth like three hours before the game starts, and then you can arrive at the stadium at two thirty, and no one's there. You look around and you're like, what's going on? And then you finally look at your tickets and realize the game starts at nine. Six hours later. Six hours later. <laughs> Which is the best soccer game ever. Yeah. So we trekked back over there at nine o'clock after going to eat. Oh. But first we went out for a date night to eat. We did. Yes. That's yes. it. Oh. And we babysat. Y'all oh, babysat. Yes. Yeah, we went. Uh, they went on a date night and I joined them. We went to Ciro and Sons. Mm -hmm. It is... All the dishes can be made gluten free. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. It's my first pasta experience in Italy and it was amazing. And it was a fancy restaurant but yet kid friendly. So while we were sitting there eating, um, I said, we are bringing the whole crew, Vivi included, and we're gonna do this as a special night. And so we did that later in the week. And we got back in time for Joseph and I to go with Philip to the soccer game. Yeah, we get to see a full range of emotions <coughs> from Italians, which is my favorite pastime with people. <laughs> Emotions being held by an Italian and uh, anger, joy, disappointment. Baking whole section death. took their shirt off. Baking death on the ground. Baking death. The whole section <laughs> took their shirt off. It was an, yeah. and, and the most amazing score that we saw, and we jumped up and down like we were true Italians. Mm -hmm. True Florence. Flor Florentines. 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 Flor Florentines. Uh, and came back very exhausted. I really, in academia, besides the statue of David, obviously, right? Now, that one's obviously top of everyone's list. Uh, but there's a really cool painting in there. There's actually two, but one that was a little bit more detailed than the other of God the Father holding the cross that Jesus was on, and he had the Holy Spirit as a dove, and he had angels, and he had the veil that was split apart, mm -hmm. and that one was really cool. I really like their music history section. Mm -hmm. They had like all of the different instruments and like how they were made, like the pianoforte. And you could just see like all of like the progressions over the years and learn about who did it. And my music major self.
I like that too. I really enjoyed it. There was a room of like nothing but sculptures. So I took my time in there. They even had one of Machiavelli. That was really cool. Um, I took a selfie with him. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And of course seeing David, that was really interesting reading about how the architect built the, the museum around David. And the way it's built makes him look larger than he actually is. So that was interesting That's to cool. see that in real life. Yeah. And I like the story of David, how it really impacted the Renaissance. Just the people felt oppressed and overwhelmed and a lot of suspicions and oppression. And um, David, uh, even as a young boy, was confident that God could help him defeat the giant that nobody could. And so the statue represented something with his hand being confident and strong with the power of God. And how he held just a slingshot and how to look in his eye like... I can take him down. It's just really cool to know the story behind the whole statue. Mm -hmm. I think it's, a, you know, I, we had spent all day at, at the academia. It, it's full of statues. We spent all day, at, or most of the day at the Uffizi. It's full of statues. So this was one of the last statues we had seen on two pretty, pretty chock full of statue days. And there's just mm -hmm. something different about the David because like, mm -hmm. when I saw him, I was like, he's going to come down, he's going to come to life, and he's going to jump down from his stool. It's just so lifelike and so real. And, and it was so just like perfect. Yeah. I don't know, like the marble on that one was unlike any of the other ones. It was perfectly smooth, perfectly just sculpted. And like you said, after seeing quite a few sculptures and busts and all this stuff, it was like you were seeing something completely different, made out of the same material. And it was interesting because a lot of people refused to do that artwork because they thought that marble was less than optimal to use. And he said, I can do it with this. There also was a sculpture of a little baby. And I walked in front of it because I feel like there was a whole wall of like sculptures that were commissioned by loved ones for people they had lost. And this little baby girl... She was like sculpted to look like she was laying down next to her brother. And it looks like you can just pick her up. Mm -hmm. You can just she pick her up. Real. And like, it's like, it just, I felt the grief of like, there's this child that never will be, but she's here. It was. <laughs> <laughs> she cried twice. She went and then she came back. <laughs> well, I had to do with Ashley. I told, I told you not to go back. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Viv and I, we, we were climbing statues of our own. She got into this one statue and just climbed it. We had aspirations to get up to a viewpoint. We got about a third of the way there and then just did some circles coming back. Had ice cream and lunch with Philip. And ice cream? Yummy, ice cream. Yummy, 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 yummy ice cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Want to call lunch, Ellen, Tico, Viana? Y'all had a date day. Yeah, we did. We did have a date day. We went to uh, Trattoria Zaza, the restaurant, for uh, lunch. Quite the experience. Most, you know, I guess fancy place I've ever sat down in. Like fancy <laughs> chairs, fancy walls. We sat by a fireplace. <laughs> yeah. uh, the pasta was spectacular. And then we just spent the rest of the day um, just walking around Florence and getting some gelato and, you know, having a good time. So, and then we, what did you initiate? Well, I love a good spa. And I did some research, which typically is not my strength. It's that one over there. But I booked us a spa for Whitney, Becky, Lolly, and I. And, yeah, I, I really did think that we were going to laugh until we peed ourselves yeah. because <laughs> it was a it little was... different than I heard that the American one was. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we laughed till we cried. Mm -hmm. And there we was a us... pool that mm -hmm. was like semi warm. I prayed because I'm not a big, I'm not a um, hot tub person. I think you get a lot of infections. So I prayed that the water wouldn't be, you know, too hot. Well, I over prayed. You, you prayed. You prayed, I prayed too, too hard. hard. It was kind of yeah. cold. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got massages, and we got back in the water, and then we got into a sauna. And yeah. Ashley said she was sweating. Well, I am still freezing. So <laughs> Ashley said, well, trade places. Well, where she was, the heat was coming straight out. I was like, oh, this is what you mean by sweating. I'm going to sit oh. here 
there for a minute, and then I was like, whoo. So we went wait. out, we cooled off, and we went back in. Yeah, yeah, it was cold when we left the sauna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. We laughed and had a good time. It was not the typical modest situation I was uh, used to <laughs> or uh, prepared for, nor the situation I prepared anyone else for. <laughs> um, so I, I thought she was, I thought I was a goner. So um, they asked for one to do the massage first and the other two to have the time in the water. So I said, well, let me just stay with somebody. So Ashley went thinking that she was going to get her whole massage and then come tell us about ours. I was, I was, I, I had a plan in my head of how I was going to tell her how to do things and like so it would help her maybe ease some nerves and then I came out and they were gone <laughs> and I was like oh no this is not the situation I, I was looking for so um but you did it I did it and I, I, I absolutely I feel a little bit tense three days later it was the best best thing I'm gonna have to Incorporate that into my monthly schedule. That was. Uh, it wasn't all bad. No, it, it was, was a really good laugh. It was really good. That was my favorite thing we did this whole time. Yeah. I love girl time. Ones. Girl time is just <laughs> it, my favorite. It really just was good. Yeah. It was so fun. And we there. got to like lay down and read afterwards. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of like it's some breathing kind of in and oh, breathing that tea out. Was so good. The tea was so good. Do y'all have any videos massage. from this? Of we course we don't. No. <laughs> 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 of course I have left my wallet by now, and then we get halfway home and realize I've left my bathing suit. So sweet Philip bought the 40 minute walk to I hang over and treat it. So I'm down two items at that point. <laughs> Did we eat anything that night? Yeah. Zero Zero and some. Some. yeah oh, we that that yeah. Yeah. We okay, went that back. was the night for that. Yeah, we I liked it so much that, that we made a reservation. For the whole family and it was just a great time it was a great time they shared it was memories awesome. and our favorite things the yeah, that owner was, was amazing too he took such good care of us i mean yeah mm -hmm. it was awesome yep. his brother had married someone that was um gluten celiac celiac that's what initiated mm -hmm. been yeah. doing it since 2005 and i think that was my favorite food there Mm -hmm. I ate pasta every day, and that lasagna was the best. I had the, the, the Alfredo oh, pasta. Oh, the, Alfredo. the Alfredo. That's my favorite. That's the only time I had Alfredo here, and that was spectacular. I love it. It had asparagus in it. Yeah. It was good. It was our <laughs> favorite fun dinner of the time. Mm -hmm. yep. And then Friday came and hit us all in the face. 12 hour tour. <laughs> oh, yeah. 12 hour tour. Surprise! So we're not exactly sure what we signed ourselves up for, but I think we're going to be in the bus for about six hours, and we're going to see four cities today. That's right. First so. stop is Seattle. So, and we're we're all up in here. Okay. Yeah, because the first one was Sienna, and that one was it. It had like that yeah. tour at the front, and I remember mm -hmm. us being like, "Man, this was great, but are we going to do this at every?" City? Sienna's mm -hmm. where the horse race is. The three mm -hmm. lap horse race. And that's where we went into the uh, cathedral, did, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cathedral. right. I really liked that. The cathedral was really cool. It was really cool. I love that they have, they incorporate so much art into like their churches. Mm -hmm. Michelangelo mm -hmm. actually had a piece in there, so I got to see a piece. Yeah. And it they was had one a statue that was, yes. It was a self portrait, basically. Oh, a oh. self statue. It was a self statue of him. So that was Sienna, and then we got the. Then we got the lunch. Bus. Oh, that lunch was awesome. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, it was, it was like a wine tasting, tasting. Uh, and it was in a vineyard. And mm -hmm. the spectacular views. The, uh, yeah. Amazing views. It's like then, what you would imagine, like when you tell somebody like you're gonna yeah. be in Tuscany, that's what you. That's imagine. it. That's exactly yep. right. That's it. Yep. Like. That's the front of the brochure. Who can mm -hmm. say the name of the city we went to? Goes right next to that. Sand. Sand. Jimmy Nana. Jimmy Nana. That's how you spell it. I don't yeah. know how you say it. Yeah. San Jimmy Nana. But the bus ride through the. Yeah. yeah. That was my favorite. That part. was. Mm -hmm. That was pretty. That was pretty amazing. Oh, and I like seeing the sheep in that <gasps> field. Oh, with yeah. The oh. Shepherd yeah. Guy. yeah. That yeah. was pretty fun. Yeah. Well, San Gio Giovanna, that's where the gelato was. So we're on our four city tour and we're now in San Giovanna. 
And we are in line, as you can tell from the long line, for the most famous gelato. One more time, Bill. Looks like we got here just the right time. <laughs> Roll tag. <laughs> oh yeah, that was some good gelato. That was stressful gelato. Yeah, that was intense. That was the most. That was like soup Nazi. Yeah, and then next, yeah, it was just pizza. Pizza, yeah. pizza. We, we had pizza. Our, pizza. We then made pizza. our um, poses with the Millennium Tower. Even Vivi. <laughs> yeah, she tried. She did her like yeah, go up to the fire girl. thing because like all yeah. dudes will put her hands by the fire and she'll come up and she kind of gets it out. <laughs> but yeah, she's pushing. She's <laughs> pushing. And I, I always like a picnic, and so we got this pizza at a picnic in the park in front of it. And then today, <laughs> what did we do today? This morning we woke up, we left Super. at five thirty, and we walked. 40 minutes over to Piazza something Michelangelo. of Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like Michelangelo's lookout. And we watched the sunrise and you can see like all of Florence. You know, you have the, the Duomo, um, which is a big like cathedral and this other little cathedral all lit up. And then you have the sun rising over the mountaintops. And I mean, it was just absolutely stunning. Yeah, and then we walked down and there's a hot air balloon being blown up, which we had never seen. Mm -hmm. So we just watched it till they went up, up, up and away. I don't know, that was just a great way to start the day. Get some coffee and croissants at our favorite little croissant spot. And then we went for our Lunch. Final really big meal together. <laughs> you can say big meal twice. <laughs> yeah, really big now. They had their Florentine steaks at this one. Then we yeah. had pasta steak. And I and had a chocolate. whole sea bass, the whole thing. And the cutest little guy came over and took the fins out and the head off and laid it out on our plate. And we enjoyed it, didn't we? Yes, it was it was so he came out and he said, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just trying to conclude. Camera got too hot. All right, I think we all got to tell our story. We all fly out tomorrow. What a great trip. Mm. It was awesome. Say that again. Fun, full of lots of food, family time, walking around. I think we all need a new pair of shoes after the amount of walking we've done. The last five days now, I've walked over 20,000 steps each day. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's jockey. Uh-huh. That's a lot for me. It's five times more than usual. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all excited to get back to our, our normal life, but this has been special. This time That's of year has been so special. So thank That's you so great. much, Molly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank y'all. This was a wonderful, wonderful week for me. All right.